seem to get asked this question a lot. Thought I would uh, explain it to people. Resetting your timing chain tensioner. <clears throat> Turn to top dead center on your cylinder. There's a mark on the cam. There's two marks on the cam sprocket. Line it up with the head. Um, basically, if you're just going to reset it, you take this 15 millimeter cap off. <clears throat> basically, the only thing that holds it tight is the O-ring that's behind it. It's kind of a stiction thing. Um, when you crack it loose, that thing should want to go spin out and come out on its own. Basically, if you have like no uh, tension on it, like right now, there's it should want to spin itself out from the spring that's wound up in there. This basically is saying the guides are wore or the chain is stretched. Basically, it's adjusted that much that it's lost all of its spring tension. So to reset it, basically, uh, it wants to suck back in. Actually, I don't even notice that. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually changing the guides and chains on this baby. Pull her out. Oop, there. I'm gonna get oil all over my phone. Now there's a... On the end of the spring there's a little flat tab. Um, that engages inside the... Uh, inside the tensioner down in there. And basically, as you put this in here and tighten it back up, you're winding up that spring. And what that's doing is putting rotational force on, which constantly pushes against the guide down in there on the chain, which keeps the chain tight. So if it's really, really loose, what I like to do is I'll give it, a, you know, one full turn or something, and then put the cap in, and that'll help preload the, that'll wind the tensioner tight. And if you let go of this thing, she's going to go, ping, flying out on you. Anyway, now, right now, the only thing holding it in there is the, uh, Stiction from the o-ring and you just want to snug her down basically that's it nothing to it so this thing here properly uh, properly adjusted it'll want to naturally unspin by itself like that and just mind your eyes <laughs> oil can fly out when that comes out of there it just flings off the spring and stuff. Anyways, it's ridiculously simple. That is it explained. <laughs>